Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the beautiful MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum. My name is Mark Chinook, and I am thrilled to be here with you this afternoon to talk about Halloween, Saturday, October 31st, 4.30 Pacific. We are going live with a, an incredible, incredible night of boxing. It starts with our co-main, and I am joined with them right now on stage, Michaela Mayer, Eva Brotnitska, for the WBO Female Junior Lightweight title. That is our co-main. It is a title bout, and I am thrilled to be sitting here with both of you, so thank you so much for joining me. Michaela, I want to start with you, because you have been calling for a title fight for as long as I've known you now, and here we are. Here we are. You got your shot. How do you feel? Um, I feel great. I, I, I feel like I'm deserving of this. I've been number one contender in this division for a long time now, so um, I've been wanting this title shot. I've been deserving of this title shot, and I honestly don't feel any different than any other fight because this isn't the ultimate goal. This is just a step towards accomplishing all my goals. So Saturday night, I got to get through Awa. Props to her for finally giving me this opportunity, and I'm going to take uh, advantage of it and go home with that belt Saturday. You talk about being the number one contender. You made history as well because you were made the mandatory challenger. How did that make you feel? First time ever. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool day because the day I was announced to BWO mandatory for Brad Nico was the same day that Eddie Hearn announced that he had signed her to Matchroom. And I know what he was doing. He was signing her to feed her to H Terry Harper so that he could keep the belts in his stable. But... Um, Bob, the Bob father, was secretly working behind the scenes, and uh, it stars all aligned at once, once again, the way things have been happening for me. So um, they made me mandatory, and rightfully so. So you've heard that now. She said, you know, excited to be here, mandatory, obviously. Do you think this fight would have happened if she wasn't made mandatory? Hello to everybody. I think this fight is going to happen anyway, uh, if uh, Michaela would be not mandatory. I'm uh, very happy that this fight is going you know, forward. Uh, we put very good spectator. I expect a good fight, war, uh, so pure boxing. And, uh, you know, Michaela, you told that I bring uh, you a belt, but I only bring that you can watch him, and I not to give you this belt, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, I cannot wait for this battle. It's going to be unbelievable. We were talking before we went on air about Las Vegas. You know, it's your first time yes. here with us in the bubble. How have things been so far? It's only been a couple of days, but here we are now inside the bubble getting ready for Saturday night. Yeah, inside the bubble. Yeah, everybody's very nice. I love America, USA. Um, I was here in Las Vegas like four years ago, only for some sparring preparation. Now I'm coming here for the fight, and that was my dream to fight in USA. So... I put my belt on the line six times. Uh, for me, it's you know one more time fight and one more to prove that uh, the female boxing is uh, very tough. And we hope, I hope, we prove this that uh, the girls deserve you know fight on some huge event like this today. This is another big title defense, yeah. as you mentioned. You've done it numerous times now. We are in Las Vegas. Uh, the odds for gamblers are in Michaela's favor. Does that give you any motivation when you happen to be here in Vegas and you see the odds stacked in your opponent's favor? Uh, you know, I know uh, everything, maybe not everything, but a lot of stuff is against me. I am uh, not uh, in Poland. I'm uh, on her country uh, with her promoter, but it's nothing to start me. I'm very focused, very motivated, and uh, whatever Michaela told, like, um, she doesn't respect me. For me, it's more motivated, you know me. We're sitting across from each other. This is, uh, you know, obviously an incredible time. There's a title bout on the line. You're the heavy favorite. She's not too concerned about that. For you now, being in the bubble, there's obviously maybe a little advantage in your mindset that you've been here before. Um, I think she is concerned. I think she's pretending that she's not, but I know she is. She's had six title defenses, but nobody on my level. She's never gone up against someone like me. And... It's, it's different, it's a big difference, this fight versus her last title defenses. And um, I've known I could be here for a while and this is her final test and I just don't think that she's gonna pass it. You've said that uh, Michaela makes mistakes and you're ready yeah. to capitalize on those mistakes. You said she's a great technical fighter but mistakes have been made and you've been able to, uh, to witness that watching her fights and you're ready to capitalize. Yeah. Go into that a little bit. For sure, Michaela is a good technical boxer and uh, she told I never meet uh, the fighter like she but 
when I see her career in a professional boxing with uh, the boxer who she fight, I also can win. So we have the smaller opponent, now we are on the same, you know, level, I think. Uh, so she has uh, a lot of mistake, yeah, she do, and I'm going to take advantage, advantage of this. We're excited for Saturday. Michaela, what would this mean for you? And, you know, you talk a lot about your coach and Coach Al. What would that mean to bring home this title, not only for yourself, but for your coach? Uh, yeah, it's definitely a team effort. You know, I've had I've had this team with me for a long time. We've done a lot together, a lot of ups and downs. Um, it's Coach Al's birthday this Saturday, Halloween. So um, I definitely want to bring that world title home for him. Um, you know, he's put in a lot of work over me in the last 11 years, two Olympic trials, um, 10 years, and now going into our first world title fight. So um, definitely means a lot to uh, make him proud on Saturday, but. You know, like I said, this is just a stepping stone. We still have so much we want to accomplish. We want to go undisputed at 1.30, and we want to go and fight the best in other, in other weight classes as well. So um, getting through Brodnika is just is step one. So there's no celebrating like, okay, this is it. We did it after this fight. You know, we're going right back to work. We have a lot more that we want to get done. Well, I know boxing fans are excited. I'm going to ask you now to just leave your microphones on your chairs, and we're going to have you move down to the X for your first face-off of the week. This is Michaela Mayer, Eva Brutnitska for the WBO female junior lightweight title is on the line this Saturday. It's Halloween. It's October 31st. Michaela Mayer, Eva Brutnitska for the female junior lightweight title on the line. Everybody at, tuning in at home, please stay with us. The Monster and Mayhem coming to the stage in minutes. Please stay with us. Fireworks there. I think that's going to be a great fight. Everybody's sticking with us right now. We're going to bring up the main event. As I mentioned, it goes down Saturday, October 31st on ESPN+. Plus. The undercards begin at 4.30. And this is for the WBA, the IBF, and Ring Magazine Bantamweight World titles. Let's bring up the challenger. Please welcome Jason Mayhem Maloney and the champion Naoya Inoue, the monster. I don't even know where to begin. I'm just very excited that this is going down the monster and mayhem on Halloween. I, I don't think he could have planned it any better. Uh, but I want to start with you, the champion. Uh, he has been off nearly for one year since his fight against Donaire. He suffered a, a broken orbital bone. Has the time off allowed him to heal properly? And has he had a great training camp to be ready for Saturday night? Yeah, Yes, uh, with this past year, my, uh, my injury has healed very well. Great. You've had world title fight experience. Uh, you lost a controversial split decision to Rodriguez. How did that fight change you as a fighter mentally so that when this now happens and you're back in the bubble? Yeah, I really think that everything happens for a reason and that heartbreaking loss two years ago showed me how much I want this and that I'm never going to let a loss happen to me again. I've worked extremely hard to get myself back into this position. And on Saturday night, nothing will stop me from winning this fight and achieving the dream and becoming the number one bantamweight in the world. So I'm extremely excited and couldn't be more ready. Does the bubble allow you to eliminate distractions? Because you know, you're on your phone, you're on social media, you see the news, you're definitely not the favorite to win this fight. We were just talking about it with the women earlier. Are you able to set that aside when you enter the bubble and truly focus on the task at hand? Yeah, I mean, bubble or not, I'm extremely driven and focused. 
Uh, I know the job that I'm here to do. And whether people think I can win this fight or not, it does not bother me one bit. I believe and I know I can win this fight. To the champion, uh, every time the champion sets, uh, sets foot in the ring, the stakes become higher and higher, obviously. Uh, how do you feel he's dealing with, or how do you feel you're dealing with the pressure of all of these expectations as they continue to grow? え、毎回毎回リングに上がると、え、プレッシャーがどんどん厳しくなってくると思うんですけれども、この大変な期待を期待のプレッシャーはどういうふうに対応してますか。え、その期待だったり、プレッシャーだったりっていうものを、え、自
on Halloween. Saturday, October 31st, the undercards begin at 4.30 Pacific on ESPN+. In a way, Maloney, the WBA, IBF, Ring Magazine, Bantamweight World titles on the line. As always, this is boxing. This is Top Rank.